If you had to get business today, what would you do? Hey, Todd Schroth here with Agents Who Win. Let's talk about the best strategies that are out there for you. Hi, I'm Todd Schroth, and I've been listing and selling homes throughout the Central Florida area for over 20 years. A strong work ethic and willingness to expand my knowledge throughout the market's changes have allowed me to become a top agent leading a team that has sold over 2,000 homes. Today, I want to give back and elevate real estate standards by sharing with you the knowledge I've gained during my real estate career. What are the revenue generating activities that are working right now? Number one, sphere and referrals. Number two, open houses. Number three, cold calling. Number four, farming. Five, door knocking. Mailing, media hard print ads. You wanna pick your strategy of what's gonna work and you wanna time block it. Now, let's go back and dive into each one. So revenue generating activities are gonna be working on your business, not in your business. You wanna spend some time during your day working on your business. So working on sphere and referrals, are you touching your past clients? Are you hosting activities for them? Are you hosting events? Are you calling and checking in? Are you doing happy birthday posts? A media of things that can be done to get in touch with your, your sphere and your referrals. And calling in and just saying, hey, how's it going? Can I get some business? Number two, open houses. That's a big thing because it is a face-to-face -face business and open houses is a great attraction so people can see your personality and how you're gonna work with them. And it's also a way to build a trust with the person that's coming in. Open houses in today's world are still a massive success for realtors creating new business. And number three is cold calling. Cold calling can be a myriad of things. It could be circle prospecting, FISBOs, expireds, or even calling your past clients and checking in on them, wishing them a home anniversary, or seeing how their kids are doing, or anything, it's just a checking in. And you don't have to call it cold calling or prospecting, it's just follow up is really what it is. Number th four is farming. Farming can be a mixture of things as well. If you live in a certain community, or if you live in a condo complex, or in a building, or if you wanted to farm first time buyers in apartments, there's a myriad of things that can be done with farming. And you know, when you're in a community or something like that, host events, uh, drop just you know uh, yearly calendars. There's a mixture of things that can be done with farming. Love to dive into a strategy on that. Door knocking. Had an agent out this past weekend who door knocked a bunch of souls that we just did in the community and got three new listing opportunities. So it's really just going out and having conversations with people. You're not asking for business there. You're just checking in. Hey, we just sold the neighbor's house down the street. You know, if you know anybody who's thinking about buying or selling, what did that guy do? He referred him to three other people who had life events that have happened that are gonna be thinking about moving. So it's successful door knocking trip. Mailings, again, we've done yearly calendars, we've done just solds, uh, absentee owner mailings, uh, for sale by owner mailings, uh, foreclosure mailings, there's a mixture of things you can do on that side as well. Again, picking a strategy and going forward on it. Don't throw, you know, just don't open a dartboard and just start throwing them everywhere, but you gotta pick one and get it working, then go to the next. Media and heart print ads, they still work. And we still advertise in the local newspaper, we still advertise you know, in the high school, in the middle school, all that stuff. So you gotta pick again where you're gonna put your money and keep at it because it's gotta be repetitive. If you just run one ad and it doesn't work, it's because you didn't be consistent with it. As we wrap up, I would love to spend some time and talk with you directly about what's been working for you, help develop a better strategy, or what's worked for us over the last 20 years, and what's continuing to work for us, and develop a strategy for you. Reach out to us, happy to connect and see how we can help.